Dominic Dyer has said Boris Johnson's support in getting animals airlifted out of Afghanistan, a claim the Prime Minister denies, will be one of his best legacies. The animal rights activist was brought to tears when discussing the evacuation of cats and dogs from the Nauzad charity in Kabul as he was unable to help people in Meghan Markle's charity. Speaking to ITV's Good Morning Britain, Mr Dyer said, People like me and Penn are being called racist because we put animals above brown people. This is disgusting and horrible. We dedicated our time to get people out there and to me this WASNT the end of it. When we came back from this mission we didnt the Mayhew People Hour. This is Meghan Markle's charity. I lobbied for both of them and I couldn't get them out and it broke my heart and people contacted me in Afghanistan and they said, you've got to come back for us. You can't leave us here. I didnt know what to do. He added. Overall what Penn Farthing did and his bravery and courage inspired me and others. We've rescued over 150 men, women and children from that country. I'm not going to be condemned and I don't want to see anyone be condemning him for what's going on here. This is not pets before people, it's about rescuing people in desperate need and it's been turned into a political football and that's the tragedy in my view. The activist continued. If it WASNT for him, none of those people and animals would have got out of there. I'm hugely grateful and will always be and the people concerned will be. However, Mr. Johnson said it is total rhubarb to say he intervened to get animals airlifted out of Afghanistan after leaked emails suggested he authorized the controversial move. Accused of lying about his role, the Prime Minister sought to dismiss allegations he personally approved the evacuation. He has repeatedly denied approving their rescue in the final days of the mission as thousands of people wanting to flee the Taliban were left behind. But a newly surfaced email shared with a Commons inquiry shows a Foreign Office official saying in August that the Prime Minister had just authorised the animal's rescue. This whole thing is total rhubarb. The Prime Minister told broadcasters during a visit to Hanson Aggregates in Conwy, North Wales, saying he was proud of the military airlifts. The Prime Minister's official spokesman had earlier said, It's not uncommon in Whitehall for a decision to be interpreted or portrayed as coming directly from the Prime Minister even when that's not the case and it's our understanding that's what happened in this instance. We appreciate it was a frenetic time for those officials dealing with this situation. Asked if he was suggesting the Foreign Office official was mistaken, he replied, I can't say individually which official but that's our understanding of what happened. 